Hey guys, Oblivion here. We're getting some new news with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2's DLC, and a new update we're going to be getting very, very soon, guys. Now, if you have the season pass, you can get the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 2. That's a mouthful. But the DLC 2, and I'm just going to go over the stuff that we're going to be getting for this DLC, the stuff that is confirmed, anyway, and the stuff that is confirmed for the new update that's going to be happening. I don't know if it's going to be happening before or after it or with it or long it I don't I don't know guys but it's gonna be coming out soon the updates free so the updates can happen for anybody anybody can have the update and stuff like that but I'm gonna go over the DLC 2 and what we're getting for sure what's confirmed so far the two new playable characters Champa and Vados are confirmed a new story event that God of Destruction Champa approaches Kanton City so what that means guys I'm, I'm guessing this is what this means just like how Frieza would come in and attack Kanton City like at certain times you could always time it and know when it was going to happen <laughs> basically they're doing an update where it'll be Champa instead so I don't know if they're getting rid of Frieza and just removing him out and just having Champa come in and take over Kanton City or if they'll be switching it in and out maybe a different you know time zones will be Frieza's and then it'll be Champa at different times and stuff like that I'm not too sure we're getting the new staged unnamed planet so it's gonna be a different planet something like that I'm guessing this is where Whis and Beerus are a lot of the time. That'd be really cool because we really don't know. It's like we don't know the name of that planet. It's a Kai kind of planet, but we don't really know where it is. So that's gonna be the new stage added. I'm hoping. I'm guessing that's what that is. There's gonna be eight new brand new attacks. I'm guessing a lot of those are gonna be Champa and Vados's attacks and stuff like that. Three new costumes. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's like probably Vados's costume. We already have Champa's, I believe. So if there's gonna be two new costumes that we don't really have any idea who it's gonna be. And then the space pod is a new vehicle that you can use when you drive around a Kanton City. Nobody even uses those vehicles once you've beaten the Cooler and Freeza mission and learned how to fly. It's kind of just dumb to even do that. There's going to be a free update now. The free update, again, I don't know when this is coming out, but it's going to be coming out relatively soon. I, we don't really know exactly. Um, but the new update this is going to be free for everyone guys there's going to be five new costumes added to the game four of them are going to be in the tp metal shop yes the tp metal shop is going to get an actual update and there's going to be even more just wait four new costumes for the tp metal shop one costume goes to the raid boss so those are the five costumes three new accessories are going to be added to the game two of which are going to be in the tp metal shop and one is going to be the raid boss reward so there's going to be different rewards for this new raid boss coming up i'm hoping it's not just champa that would be kind of boring but again i, I think this is more centered on those two characters champa and vado so i guess we'll get what we get but i'm hoping it'll be something different than just champa as the raid boss and this might be two different raid bosses for the costume and the, the actual accessory it could be two different things i don't really know and there's going to be five new attacks added with the um, free update. So there's going to be ten attacks in total if you have the season pass and you got the update. So ten new attacks. But we don't really know who they're going to be from. A new rule is going to be added to the Tenkaichi tournament. So if you're doing those tournaments, guys, there's going to be a brand new um, rule put to it. We don't know what the rule is. It doesn't say. Nobody's talked about what the rule is going to be. But there's a new rule added to it. And there's a new... Um, Budokai Tenkaichi Tournament jersey you can get. I'm guessing it might be a reward for doing stuff like that. I'm not too sure what it's going to be. And currently in development right now... <sighs> yeah, it's it's happening, guys. It's happening. There's going to be a Nintendo Switch version of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo wants Dragon Ball X Universe 2 to be a game on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to get a Nintendo Switch until it's super cheap. I'm not a Nintendo uh, person. But anyway, guys, that's kind of all I got for the information regarding the DLC and the free update that we're going to be getting here soon. It's actually kind of meaty. It's a lot of stuff, actually. Mm. But anyway. It's not five new masters like the last update, but they're updating a lot of things I think that needed to be touched up on. That's what I really like. The TP Metal Shop is finally getting something more, which I, I didn't like how it was before. We hardly got much else. They kept adding like a new costume or two every time. They really, really wouldn't do much to it. But maybe this will be new things that the TP Metal Shop will always have, because there seems to be always something in the TP Metal Shop that's always going to be there. 
And it's usually the attacks. The attacks never really change. I never saw them change. Usually what changed was the accessories, the super souls, and it, excuse me, sorry, and usually a costume or two. That's usually what would change. A lot of the same costumes would be there for a long time. And then they'd change it out every now and then. Again, it does take time for them to develop this stuff, but I completely get it. I completely get it. And I'm glad that that TP Metal Shop stuff is a free update. I want everyone to get a lot of that stuff. I personally think that we should be getting a lot of this stuff for free anyway. Like stages and stuff like that. I don't know. Let's, let's say that they, you know, do. You do buy the season pass. Now they are obligated to actually give you good you know good stuff for the season pass which is kinda you know I get that even though I have bought in the season pass it was kinda pricey but for a game like this I mean you know I take what I get but I definitely think that they should have give a lot more free stuff to a game I like when games do that like overwatch they added new stages to the game for free which is really cool I like that they do that but I don't know comment down below what you guys think about this like this video if this was a good video for you guys subscribe if you want more content I'll be giving out more content especially showing out what this DLC is gonna have and stuff like that but thank you guys for watching this video I'm out. I'll show you the power brought out by Supreme Kai. Let's do it. All right. Let's go.